Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, February 13th to the 14th intuitive love tarot read. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what's up for you. On the next day. I'm going to pull four cards and then get a message from Spirit for you all. Please remember that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to switch up the rules as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. Interesting. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you what these cards are in a minute. Don't forget to comment below as well, Capricorn. Let me know if this resonates with you. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Wow. Okay, you have Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You've got 666. It's actually not an unlucky number. But it is talking about focusing more on the spiritual than the material. Let me get a message from Spirit before we begin with these cards. Okay. They're giving me the song, Do the Locomotion. Look up the lyrics. <laughs> They've given me this song before, too. Um, it's like a fun song. Maybe he needs to have some more fun. <laughs> Capricorn. <sighs> Leave no stone left unturned. If you're finishing something up, Make sure that you're dotting your I's, crossing your T's, like leaving something behind, ending something, something like that, paperwork, something. Make sure that you're double checking. Mercury is going retrograde too, so you do want to double, triple check things. Paperwork, reservations, things like that. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Okay, now I'm hearing two more songs. Love Don't Cost a Thing and Can't Buy Me Love. So it's interesting how that has to do with money. And 666 to me is pay attention to more uh, of the spiritual than the material put more weight on the spiritual than the material and it does look like you're leaving something behind right moving on to something victorious um, and this is what they're referring to I'm feeling that here whatever you're leaving behind okay you could be traveling moving um, make sure you leave no stone left unturned to where wherever you're coming from okay but you are moving on to someplace better. It could be in the public spotlight with the six of wands here, um, just in your community or anything. But you're being seen. You may not be, in, you could have Leo in your chart. But this is the card of victory, right? So whatever you're leaving behind, you're moving on to victory. Six of pentacles is balanced, but it's right above the 10 of swords here. Ten of Swords is feeling backstabbed, betrayed. Does this... Okay. So this Ten of Swords is part of what you're leaving behind here. 
okay? Because I think it wasn't an even, uh, there was no even reciprocity going on, no even give and take, right? Happening, whatever was, where, wherever you're coming from, if it was a relationship, but let's clarify here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Yeah, you've done a lot of thinking about this. You've done a lot of thinking and piecing out on this uh, topic. Tell me about the Ten of Swords here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Capricorn. Ooh. Yeah, Eight of uh, Cups walking away, right? And that goes along with the Six of Swords here. What are you walking away from? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity. Walking away from an opportunity? Clarify by this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you may have been in hermit mode and you're coming out of hermit mode in order to have an opportunity. It's like the Eight of Cups, whenever you're walking away, right? The Eight of Cups is always walking on to the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. So I feel like you're leaving this Ten of Swords behind, moving on to an opportunity perhaps that the universe gave you and you had this epiphany in hermit mode. I'm going to get another card on this. Oh, get two cards. Yeah, two of swords and the star, the star card. Yeah, you were in indecision, right? And it had to do with a desire or a wish. And the universe is giving you an opportunity and you recognize this. Yep, you did some healing. Could be an opportunity to heal as well. And an opportunity to manifest with the magician here. Card of Gemini. Tell me about the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, you want to be seen by this Queen of Pentacles. That's why the Six of Wands, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Well, this is your energy though, Capricorn, okay? This is your energy. But I believe that you want to be seen by this individual. Uh, this is somebody who's grounded, who's <clears throat> appreciating, growing. Huh. Nine of Swords, you've got anxious and you could be keeping you up at night thinking about this. How does the Queen of Pentacles feel about Capricorn? Let's check it out for you. Oh, the Fool card. This is the card of Aries about taking a leap of faith. So they may be thinking about taking a leap of faith with you, Capricorn. Clarify this Fool card. Queen of Swords, they're debating this. Queen of Swords um, is somebody who looks at thing, things logically. It's very fair, though, very balanced way. This could be an empress because you now have the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. It's very powerful. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is something they are thinking about, but I feel like um, there's some truth they're seeking. Um, could be within themselves. Okay, so what is <clears throat> Capricorn's intention as you go towards this person or this opportunity, whatever it is? What is your intention? Three of Wands to wait? Clarify. Okay, wait for your Ten of Cups. Wait for your wish fulfillment. It could be you're just leaving a bad situation and going on to find your Ten of Cups. And this could be somebody that you're dreaming about. It's like your perfect person. Um, or it could be a specific person. It's going to be different for all of you. But I do feel you all are in the search for, isn't everybody, the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Happy family. Happy life. Yeah, you're willing to fight for it now with the Seven of Wands here. Okay, one more card for advice for Capricorn. Two of Wands. Um, make a decision. Go in the direction of your dreams. You have the world in your hands here. You also have the Magician. So they're saying that you can manifest whatever it is that you want, Capricorn. So do it. You've already chosen the path. It's obvious here. You're leaving something behind. Again, we see it here. 
you see where you want to be and what you want to manifest. Okay? All right, Cappies. I hope you resonated with that reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, you have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.